Now that we have a basic understanding of locating principles, let's take a look at how to locate a power cable. Using the conductive method, you can apply signal directly with the conductive clip in several different places, including the transformer, meter, and the targeted cable. At the transformer, you can apply signal to all the neutrals, primary and secondary, grounded at a particular transformer by simply connecting the transmitter to the transformer cabinet. At the meter, the secondary neutral is grounded at both the transformer and the meter. So secondary cables can be traced by connecting the transmitter directly to the meter's metal box. Now you're likely to get a better signal when connecting to the meter. Use the lowest frequency available to minimize the propagation of the signal to other conductors in the area. The inductive method can be used on the primary and secondary cables. Set the transmitter down over the suspected cable and set it to the 82 kHz frequency or 33 kHz frequency if you're using the XTPC 33 kHz locator. Then move at least 40 feet away from the transmitter, find a clear peak, and mark it. Done. Set the transmitter down at this point, return to the original location, making sure you're on the correct trace path. Leapfrogging the transmitter is also a good way to trace cables over a longer distance when the sound is getting weaker or you're losing volume. Like now. <laughs> Here's leapfrogging. Leapfrogging. When locating secondary cables, the meter box is the most convenient place to access the neutral. Sometimes the riser pipe is non-metallic, usually PVC. If this is the case, you can put the clamp right around the riser. If you can't fit the clamp around it for some reason, if accessible, clamp around the neutral inside the meter box. The meter box might ground via an external wire that goes to an earth ground. If so, you can clamp around this external ground. Now, other utilities might also be using this ground wire. And you must place the clamp above them to avoid applying signal to them as well. Review points for power locates. One, conductive method can be applied at transformer cabinets, meters, or targeted cables preferably neutrals or ground cable. Two, inductive method by applying transmitter box or antenna over known path. Use of high frequency to achieve better performance. Three, using inductive clamps requires a good near end ground, placing clamp on cable just ahead of earth grounded section.